Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the second portion of the organization. I am going to be tackling this box, which has my full-size skincare. Um, this one has more full-size skincare. I know some uh, tanning stuff, um, full sizes in there. So some cleansers and stuff like that. We are going to use um, some bins to organize them. I do have these bins here. I actually got these from Costco and I did receive the other ones that I'd ordered from Amazon. I think these are going to be a good size, um, but I'm going to grab both and then we'll see. Here's what I have so far. These are the ones I organized last week. These are the samples. Once we finish getting everything that's in there into their own bins, then we are going to find the right spot for them to go in my closet um, and at some point I need to handle this I don't like that my all of my perfumes are sitting over here these are like project pan items and that's just stuff that just does not have any other place so we're gonna have to tackle that as well and I do have some full-size makeups here some um, these are mainly setting sprays I do have some body items I'm gonna pull these out and these are some products that I need to retest um so yeah we're gonna do it let's do it let me get my setup going and then uh yeah let's do that all right you guys here we go i am gonna go ahead and dump everything that i currently have full-size items over here there's so much stuff they need to be organized better because i end up not really reaching for them and i don't know what i have to say so we're gonna start with these um i eventually would really like not to have all these various size bins and stuff like that i would like to get rid of all of these and ulta boxes and sephora boxes that i currently use um this is two of the boxes so i've dumped two of them out yet um i still have or i dumped two boxes out there's some more in one bin but let me go ahead and grab the smaller bins so we can start start sorting okay let me go ahead and show you the bins the ones that i got from amazon are actually really really big um i have used these before i have them currently sitting in my bathroom i do have my shower gels and body lotions in them so those are eventually i am gonna move to my closet i don't know if i'm gonna need this big size bin or if these are gonna be good i'm gonna start with these for moisturizers and all of that and then if i need the bigger ones i have them go ahead and get started with what's in here i know there's a lot of cleansers probably at the top um holy hydration by elf cleanser put that in here we have this guy by vici put that in here oh man here we go. um the micro delivery exfoliating facial wash this is by philosophy here gonna go ahead and put it here i do like the they reformulated it and i don't like the reformulation but it's okay i have it um we have elf jelly pop one of my favorite cleansers that guy over here what else what other cleansers i have i have um some of these but i think i'll put those in a different area um in a different bin because i have more um from pharmacy so we'll put those to the side but here's more cleansers another bounce back jelly cleanser is this a cleanser yes this is by first aid beauty cleanser we have keels ultra facial cleanser and i know i had one more okay we have pharmacy clean b i should use this one this is pretty old i need to use it and use it up um i have these i put to the side i have this cleanser as well by cetaphil this here and i have this one by uh drunk elephant the jelly cleanser that fits in here i think that's all i had for cleansers um i am these don't have a lid to them but it looks like they stack really nicely or they yep they stack really nicely is there a cleanser in this one in this set 
I always end up picking this set. Yeah, there is a cleanser. So let me go ahead and pull it out. I pick this set up always around the holidays because it's such a good deal from First Aid Beauty. Um, it's not doing anybody any good with everything still inside the box. So, oh boy, this is a very big cleanser from First Aid Beauty. There it goes. Okay, I think that's it for the first bin. I don't think I have any more cleansers. Um, let's go ahead and use, let's do the size, I think. What do I have? I have moisturizers, I have some serums, and what else is there? Moisturizers, serums, there's some toners. Um, there's four of these in that one box. I think this will be a good size. We'll start with, we'll, we'll start moisturizer with this one. First moisturizer is by Kate Somerville. This is the goat milk, uh, moisturizing cream. Put it here. I have adaptogen deep moisture cream by youth to the people. Um, this is a serum, this is serum, this is a facial oil. These are exfoliating pads, so we don't need these in here. What is this one? Oh, this is a serum as well. Here's a moisturizer. This is by Bioma. This is a moisturizing moisturizing gel cream. Um, I haven't tried it. I haven't tried a lot of these, so that's gotta go in here. Is this a moisturizer? Yes, this is Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. This is by Pharmacy. This is by Kate Somerville Exfoliate Glow Moisturizer. Um, this is, oh no, this is a body cream. Those are the Radiance pads. This is a serum. This is the KP Exfoliator. Oh, here's a moisturizer, facial moisturizer. This is by Kiehl's. It's a body moisturizer. These are, that's a serum. Cleanser. Oh, this is the uh, Lancome Energy. This is the day one. I need to open it. I have been using the night one and I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, What else do we have? This is a retinol cream. I like retinols. So that goes here. We have the cream, the rich cream by Augustinus Batter. Let's put it going here. Is this a serum? Oh, no, this is a mask. Okay, mask. Is this a serum or is this a... Line smoothing concentrate. Follow with a moisturizer. So I'm guessing this is a serum, okay? Put it to the side. What's this one? This is firming eye cream uh firming collagen cream so that is a moisturizer but this is a mini i'm gonna put it in my mini size in my minis area okay there's a few serums let me grab another bin for those okay some more moisturizers all right let's do these ones this is by Juice Beauty. We got Glow Recipe. This is um, serum. All of these are serums, I believe. It's not going to fit like that. School. I need to try this one. I haven't tried this guy before. I really like the um, Biosense products. I need to give it a shot. I need to use it. I need to have like a calendar, you know? rotation calendar <laughs> um this is a mask this is a serum doesn't fit that way this is a serum these are cleansers hmm should i put this is a serum too i feel like maybe i'm gonna put my toners uh, how am I going to do this? Because I don't have much toners. I have this one and I have this one. I don't think I have any other ones. So I'm considering putting them with one of, like, in here. Well, this is a serum as well. Um, What's this one? This is a moisturizer. How come we missed this one? 
put it there. Should I put my oils in my, yeah, I think I'm gonna do the oils and the toner in here. So there, there's these two. Um, and then these are body products. This is toning pads, I guess, too. So toning pads I will put in here. Does it fit? It's not gonna fit. How am I gonna do this? I want it to fit nicely. Another toner. It's a serum. Okay. Uh, this is a mask. So I have other masks in other spots. Um, okay. Let me get some more products out and then we'll tackle those. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this because I do have more cleansers. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to use. I really don't want to use a very big bin. I would like to keep it to keep things um in the same size i'm gonna save those big bins for body products like body lotions and all of that but i have some eye products that i need to find a spot for and i have some other cleansers that i need to find a spot for um so these eye creams there's this one this one this one it's not going to be a very good idea. So what are we going to do with the eye creams? I don't know. Let me move these back out. Let's see. We have quite a few pharmacy makeup removers. So we've got Green Clean. Um, the original. I have the two by e.l.f. Which... Oh yeah, it does not fit like that. What about this way? Mm -hmm. No, it does not want to fit. Okay. Um. All right. Here's green clean, and then I have uh, this guy by um Lancome by Facil. So I have this one too. Hello, I'm Rania and I have OCD. I have a hard time with things that just don't fit perfectly. Uh, what is this? This is a skin protectant, KP body scrub. I guess that can go with the body items. We have body lotions, body repair creams and all of that stuff. Okay, in here, I think maybe this is okay. My other choice is to use one of these bins for everything cleanser. So that would be like actual cleansers and makeup cleansers. That would free up one of these for eye products. Um, I wish you could tell me. I wish you could scream it. Scream it to me. Okay, if I do this. And then I would do these in here. Maybe that's what we should do. What do you think, guys? What do you think, my friends? of these I need to bring it so if I do it that way there we go is that better it's okay I guess huh and these these have really nice lids I do like the lids that they come with um okay What do you think? Do you like it? I think I like it. Okay, so I grabbed that big cleanser set of film that I have. 
Okay, let me see if I can fit these in a nicer way in here. Okay, here we go. I think that's better. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other bins that contain my uh, skin, like my body care items, shower gels and all that. They're kind of already organized, but we'll go through them again and then make sure that they're perfectly organized and then I'll add to the ones that have space. Okay, so these are the bins I currently have for body lotions and shower gel. I believe all of this one is body lotion. Um, so I'm gonna keep that as it is. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna keep it and I'm gonna put it, you know, in the closet. Yes, all of this is body lotion. Um, this is all I have left other than whatever we find here. And then in here I have like mists and shower gel um maybe <laughs> more body lotions looks like body mist body mist razor um body lotion mists okay so uh let's i'm gonna move things out of there i'm gonna put i'm gonna we'll keep this all like mists and perfumes because i have some other ones in a different spot so i'm gonna pull everything else out of here and here, body mists. I have a couple in here. I have these ones. I have this perfume from Victoria's Secret. I don't know when I'm ever gonna open that. I have some, uh, like, uh, are they rollers? Or the ones that go in your purse. I have some more body mists. More body mist. Got this guy in here. Oh, here we go like this and I have I know I have another one in my closet so let me grab it real quick okay here's another body mist and this is a lotion so that will go in a different spot um okay let's get a lid for this one those. Um, now, I know I have more body lotions and, well, they're here. I guess um, I'm going to use one of these ones. Um, what am I going to do? It's not working how I wanted it to work, you guys. Am I completely out of shower gels in my collection? I think I am. I didn't see a single shower gel. Oh my, I gotta go shopping. Um, how am I gonna do this? I don't know how I'm gonna do this. These don't have lids, so whatever I have on top can actually be standing up like this, and that's something that I could reach for. So maybe I will use it for the products that I currently am using that are like open. Let's see, can I fit another lotion in here? It's getting heavy. I can fit a couple more lotions in here. Question, will it close? That's the question. So body lotions, body lotion, body lotion, body butters, I guess. Body cream, body cream, body cream. So, this is close. Yay, it does. So, since this close, I'm leaving this as it is. I'm going to go ahead and put this one away in the closet. And then let's get some more products to figure out what are we going to do with them. All right, I grabbed a couple more things and I still have this. Although this box I do really like and it's working really handy for weighing down some other products. So, maybe I'm going to keep this as it is like actually use it to weigh down some other products. I did find some shower gels, more body cream. So I'm gonna put that in here. Um, I only found like two shower gels, <laughs> but hey, shower gels, I found some. I'm not completely out, I guess. That's that's the story. Um, these creams are gonna go in here. Have some little body butters. Put these in here. Um, 
This is a small sample. This is a shower gel body wash, and this is a body wash. So these, since I only have two, I am gonna put them in this box, which had the, um, the body mists in it. I have two. Well, and I have this KP bump eraser, so I'm gonna put that in here too. Um, I have a spot for razors. I don't like this one. Um, this is a body scrub, I guess, this is since um, the only body scrub. Is that? Wow, I can't believe it. I actually went through the stash. Okay, now this can go away in the closet. I'm gonna keep this one as it is open kind of this way because well i'm running out of ideas and i have a really bad headache i'm gonna go ahead and take a break now i need to take some medication and lay down um we'll resume a little bit later and i'll show you what my closet is looking like okay you guys let's resume i ended up doing some reorganization here in my closet after i filmed yesterday um so things are looking a lot better i'm feeling a little bit better about it um up on top like that top top part i have a bin with all of the makeup products I had uh, decluttered at some time, not all, some makeup products that I decluttered sometime last year, that's what's behind um, these two jars of uh, sponges. I plan on doing a shop my decluttered items thing, test some products out, and then before I get rid of everything else, I'm keeping my Boom Boom stuff in here just because it, it's okay, it looks fine, it's all together. Um, the bottom row down here is uh, makeup empties, mainly makeup empties. I do have some current empties in there that are uh, project paint empties. Just that I remember I finished those products. And this one, I have project uh, products that are in my uh, 100 colorful empties. Those are products I haven't touched yet. I need to finish up this year. This is current empties. There's two baskets in here just because I ended up emptying one of them. This is current empties for the month. So that's gonna stay like that. We'll move right along to here. This is kind of like the one that I feel like looks a little bit ugly, but it's okay. Um, the bin back here is all my body lotions these are brand new body lotions i haven't opened any of them um, a lot of these in here are um, brand new body lotions at some point when i start wanting to use some lotions because i like to rotate lotions i don't like to just use one specific one until it's empty so what i'm gonna do at some point like this one is used um, these are brand new this is used this is used but i think the rest are brand new so what i'm gonna do is at some point whenever i start using or wanting to open a new body lotion like after finishing these i'm gonna rotate some products from back here that i know i would want to use and put some um like open one put it out here close one put it back here um this one over here has got mainly body mists i found uh, two shower gels and one KP scrub. So that's it for body scrubs, body shower gels and all that. I can't believe I worked through my stash. It took me a few years, you guys. It's possible, but I did it. Now I got to finish up all these body mess and repurpose them and use them because they're old, 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 old. It's just like some of the lotions that are in here. I'm still not buying any of that stuff. I'll buy a little here and there. Like I bought the Boom Boom sets, um, the other set, I'm not Boom Boom, what's this one called? The Boom Dia Bright. So I bought these around the holidays. I try not to much buy too many shower gels because I wanted to finish what I have. And I need to cut down on purchasing body lotions because holy crap, who needs this money? Ultra repair creams. Like I, I got a two ounce, six ounce, and an eight ounce alongside the little sample ones that are probably somewhere sitting somewhere. Perfumes was a really hard one to tackle. I did not know what I'm going to do here. I did reorganize some of the stuff, some of the stuff that was back there. Um, so currently what's back there is only um, tanning uh, tanning stuff like tanning mousse 
Um, I have two big bottles of acetone. I'm trying to do my nails now and I have to stand these up. I can't lay them down in the drawer. So these are standing up. And then I have three hand lotions. I'm working on two currently. That's another category that I'm so happy I cut down a lot on. I had a ton of hand lotions. Now this one is almost empty. Um, my dog kind of got a hold of it. This one is brand new. This one I've used some of it, but there's more work to be done. Perfumes. I need to figure out a better solution for my perfumes. I tried to organize it in a way where these are not my favorite perfumes, but I hold on to them. Um, a lot of these here are very wintry scents. So currently they're in the back. These are perfumes that I do really like. Um, I, I just... They're not like, some of them are favorites. Well, this replica one, I love this one. This one is brand new to me. The Floral Street, I'm currently using the, uh, like the purse one of this smells amazing. So some of these are favorites. Some of them are, I, I just like them and I need them to be here. I don't want them all the way in the back because I reach for these more than these. And then on this side, these are more perfumes that are definitely more warmer um, scents but they are favorite. I don't mind wearing them all year round. There's quite a bit in here, like a lot of perfumes. And then I decided since perfumes are currently in here, I will go ahead uh, and I went ahead and placed the perfume samples that we organized last week together. I put these in here. Um, it's easy to grab one of these or one of these and then use them. That's the plan. I have these up here to weigh it down. These have been already opened. So this is a face mask I need to finish. I'm trying to weigh this lid down and it's not really working. And this is a body butter that I've actually opened and I would like to finish it. Um, now, let me show you what my drawer looks like. So what I have in here, I need to do a little bit more work. Um, I have like a PMD tool. I I haven't used that in a while. I'll probably take, I don't know, it's too big to take on travel. Um, I have a body exfoliating brush. So that's in here. I have some loofahs. I have when I, the, the first time I cut my son's hair, his hair is here. Um, some old masks that just need to get thrown out. Um, so I figured this drawer is definitely going to need more work. Um, I am going to pull, I should have pulled these out. These are cleansing these are makeup backups and just like necessities like this i guess um these makeups in here these need to go in uh the declutter bin i do want to retest these out so that's why they're gonna go in the in that one bin these are my label makers we're gonna label the bins right now so let's pull that out and these are perfume samples that still need some work that i need to put them where they belong but for now, this drawer is looking okay. At some point, I would like to empty it completely. And then I'll probably use this one for sweaters that I don't actually, like use it as an actual drawer, closed drawer. Um, let me pull these out, these setting sprays, because we're gonna make a setting spray bin. I just put my makeup on and this is my, here we go. Put these in here. We're gonna label some bins. I hope that you guys don't mind this kind of like a vlog style organized with me. It is really difficult to try and set up everything every single time. I got my Mimi. She's right there. Hi, Mia. Hi, sweet girl. Hello, my boo-boo. Hi, girl. A brief Mia interruption. Hi, Mimi. Hi, baby. Hi, honey. Hi, sweetie. Hi. What a good girl. Yes, you are. You can go lay down. Um, I did pick up this recently. It's a sheepskin rug. <laughs> and I'm being a little too OCD about it. I don't want to leave it on the on the floor where it should be. Because it's been raining and Mia's been going outside. And I don't want to drag mud on my sheepskin rug. So right now, it just sits on my table. Um, and I do have some new plans. Well, two of them are real and two of them are fake, but hey, whatever. Um, at least some greenery in my room. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next side of uh, the closet. And this is what we're going to label today. Um, this bin we're going to take out of here. I am going to use one of the clear bins. 
you will see how many um, backups of setting sprays I have. And I'm just going to, they need to go in a different bin. I don't want anything that I can't see what's in it. It drives me crazy. I'm trying to avoid that. So what we're going to label today, we're going to go ahead and label all of these, all the samples that we organized last time. This one was here because I pulled out the perfume. Now let's weigh it down. It's not going to weigh down very, very nicely, but it's okay. So we're going to label these skincare, whatever. We're going to have to pull them out and see what's in it. I'm going to place some labels on it. Um, and this is the ones that we did. Well, you'll see in this video. Um, so these are all cleansers, makeup cleanser, uh, face cleansers. There's one large peel in there. The peel party, I think it's called. This one is all my moisturizers, full size moisturizers. Holy f i have so much and then the one up here has got serums and i did put some toners in it um let's bring out this bin i'm gonna have to set you down i'm gonna pull out that bin and i'm gonna pull out one of my clear bins they're still sitting here and then we're gonna place all of the backup setting sprays in it there's my current table in my setup this is all project pan items i'm currently working on makeup mainly makeup are in here there's two perfumes three for the mist um i'm waiting for one of my subscribers i know that she had asked um about this blush she had, at some point she said if you're gonna declutter it please let me know so i'm waiting to see if she's gonna respond and yeah there's what it is. Okay, let me show you what's what else is in my closet. We're not going to touch anything from down here. But I'll let you know. This is my travel backpack. My work travel backpack. Um, there are some drawers in here. I have some work stuff in here. Um, and then the last two bottom, the last two drawers. One drawer has got like backup candles. And then this one has um, like uh, wrappers and stuff like that. So if I want to ship anything to my friends and there's some other crafty things in there that I hardly ever touched. Um, Ulta, I'm not going to show you because there's a lot of new goodies in there. I'm saving them for a haul. And then on this side is just all of like my filming stuff that I would need or things that I used to use in the past and no longer use. Um, they sit in here and then I have some other stuff for work. Um, so that's what's down at the bottom. We are not going to touch that. Again, I'm, I really want this area to look nice. So I want to see what I have and use what I have. Um, this is uh, my boudoir photo book, photo like pictures in here, picture box. Um, and then all the way up on top, I have my wedding dress, two party dresses that I don't have a need for currently. And then a travel makeup case. Why? I don't know. I have no idea. I've owned that thing since I was 17. So, and I'm currently 30 something. We're not going to say, but there we go. Okay. Now that I pulled, um, I'm going to pull that box out, like I said, and then I'm going to go ahead. Oh, hey, there's me. Ah, ah, ah. Look, I have put, I put makeup on today. Excuse my computer in the background. But look at me, I posted up makeup. Mm -hmm. What do we think? Mm -hmm. Pretty. Okay, let's pull this guy out and then let's get a clear bin and then organize what's in it. Okay, all right. So I was trying to be like all gentle and pushing this to the side and not having these things drop. Well, that happened, things fell. Oh, did I show you this like? Oh, these are uh, Minnie and Mickey. Um, my son put these together for me. They're Legos on um, just some organ, some, some pretty things and a puzzle I completed. I have like four more that I need to hang, but holy moly, the puzzle, um, picture frames, like picture frames this size are so expensive. I do want to show you cause I organized this as well. This is, um, hair care products. These are things that I don't use like I don't need currently. There are a few backups, like I have a Redken Purple Shampoo, that's a backup. I have a Potion 9, that's a backup. And I know I have a ginormous jar of uh, Walla Plex uh, mask in here. So these are things that are hair care products that I don't currently need um, to use. They're just backups. I know I like them. There's my trash. 
else do we have in here? This one has got like bags, travel bags, and my travel um, uh, uh, mirror in there. Uh, this one is all like filming stuff that I would use. What's in here? This one is just things that, oh, this is my uh, workout tracker, which workouts I finished. Some books that I'm reading and knickknacks that don't have another spot in my room. In here we have backup razors. Oh man, I need to put this in the right spot. Got some razors. I got toothpaste, sunscreen, contact lens solution. And apparently that's this is where I thought Laneige should go. That should move. Um, and then like all of my contact stuff and things like that. Um, what else? The bottom two are all like work documents and binders and stuff like that. And this one is just used to be decorations or stuff I occasionally need in my room. Ooh, this one is in the wrong spot too. But like de decorations, pictures, frame, and all of that. So here's my bin. Here's what's currently in it. I threw everything that was under my bathroom sink because I reorganized under my bathroom sink. I probably should have showed that, but didn't want some embarrassing moments um yeah there's some stuff that was like oh i uh, need to trash that so here's what's in this bin and let me grab a, one of these oh this thing is so heavy these are super heavy heavy duty i would recommend them um they're expensive you can definitely find some cheaper bins but it depends on how much depends on like how much you want to put on them um like the weight wise the lids on them fit perfectly they don't wobble or anything so they're good um are they good for makeup organization there's probably a better solution for that um these i think these are sold as like pantry or office bins or something like that but here we are all of the backup setting sprays We've got three by MAC. We've got MAC Lavender. We've got MAC, I think this is Coconut. Coconut, and we've got Cucumber. And then we have um, Smashbox Photo Finish. I have a uh, Smashbox uh, Primer Water. I have uh, All Nighter. Got Elf Glow Dewy Mist. What else do we have? We've got this guy by Iconic London. It's actually really nice, really, really pretty on the skin. Okay, what else is in here? Ooh, I have some Milanis. How many Milanis do I have? Oh, this is uh, Charlotte Tilbury. What else is in here? I think that's it for backup setting sprays. I do have some makeup in here. Hey, no judging. Got a backup of a pomegranate <laughs> eyeshadow palette and a backup of her highlighter. I actually bought the highlighter for my friend, but then I found out that she has this one. So I've been holding on to it anyways. And this is just a backup, a pomegranate backup. We have, what do I have? Rice paper, blotting paper. I haven't needed those in forever. One heck of a blot primer and an Ulta lip gel. I don't know why these are in here. Um... Would it be crazy to put these in here, backups in here? And then we can get rid of this box. Um, I don't know if I like these in here. Okay. Well, what I think I'm gonna use the rest of this box for are all these eye patches. Um, this is going on vacation with me. Actually, you know, we'll just call it, this is the back. We are going to put backups in here. We're just going to do it because how else am I going to do it? How else am I going to find spots for these things? I wonder, this issue flows pretty well. Okay, so Laneige. And since I'm going to put the Laneige sleeping masks in here, then I will go ahead and put these two in here. And then I'm just going to throw these in here for now. Well, no, because I know, I think my friend Mariella would really like this one. I'll send it to her. And this, maybe I should just try it. It's a lip gloss, a clear lip gloss. These are label thingies. 
Um, there's some stuff in here. Oh, these were sent to me by my friend. They haven't been cataloged yet or inventoried yet. So I need to put those away. Okay, so there's a couple samples in here, like this stuff. This is going with me on vacation. Can't wait. Um, this is a face moisturizer that I've used, but I took a break from. <laughs> I buy one of these every time I go and travel and then I... Yes, because I need to open wine while I'm on travel, you know. Um, see, this is the only problem that I have. Like, I can find spots for everything else. I believe this is expired. I have to check the expiration date. Like, okay, I can find the spots for all of these. Oh, there's another setting spray. Here we go. Um, I can find spots for all of these. Like, I can, like, this is a face mask. I'm going to put it in my face mask uh, bin. Um, hair products, I'm going to have to move these to my bathroom. This is usually just like travel. I put my travel medication in here um, and like spares of things like um, tampons and stuff like that. So this one is always ready to go for my for any of my trips. I just stick it in my travel bag. So I'm going to find a spot for that. Doesn't need to be in here. And this is where I'm like, what do I do with these? I have so many of these eye patches and i would like to use them i don't want to put them in a bin keep them in a bin and i never reach for them that's what's happened so far so i need to find a spot for these this one is open i'm gonna have to open one of these i don't know which one i'm gonna do um uh, let's do i don't know i'm I'd like to open both of them and start rotating do you think if i put them in here am i gonna use them this in here this in here and that in there what do we think i guess that works um because i don't typically reach for the backups of the like I, it's not like i'm gonna go in here and be like oh i need a backup setting spray unless i finish a setting spray so i think maybe this is maybe maybe this will work um let me put it in the closet put a lid on it put it in the closet find a spot for all of these and then let's label Yahoo! all right we're putting things away you guys i found here are all my makeup samples i do want to go through all of these and then reorganize these now i'm wishing i had a smaller little bin that i can place all of these in or maybe i'm just gonna go ahead and keep them in this bag i will put them right next to the bin that has the um the setting sprays um, so everything makeup samples will be in here. I just really got to go through it and like actually organize it in like if it's um, this is a lip product. I do want to put it in the lip products area just because I feel like with this way, I never actually end up reaching for them. But we're going to do that for now. Um, have all of these blotting sheets. So I'm going to put these in there. by Lush. This is like a, um, what's it called? I actually hate this thing, to be honest. This is a body moisturizer with like coffee in it. I don't know why you need it like that. That's, this was a gift from my mother-in-law. She knows I like coffee and I haven't used it. I think it's going to go in the trash. I'm gonna move you guys a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so the only thing that was remaining, I know, excuse me, I don't look the best. I just wanted to put some makeup on because I wanted some makeup on. Um, okay, so here are the things that were just in that one bin. Here is my label maker. Oh, I forgot. In order to use my label maker, I need my phone. 
Okay, well. <laughs> you can tell I'm not prepared for this. I am not prepared for this. Um, I don't know how people film organization videos for hours and hours and hours and they look perfect. And one, I'm like, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to sort these and then I'm going to write down my categories. That's what we'll do. I'll write them down on a piece of paper, let you go, and then I'll print them and then we'll put them together. We have Dam Dam Mochi Mochi Luminous Cream. That's a moisturizer. Moisturizers, where are you? Hair stuff. Um, hello? Hello? Where did you go? Oh, there's moisturizers. Moisturizers, that's going to go in there. See, look at how old the moisturizer samples I have. What? What else do we have? Kerastase hair product. So that's going to go in the hair products. Um, what else? This is a hand cream. I have a different spot for this. This is Dr. Barbara Sturm Molecular Cosmetics V Drops. These are supposed to hydrate your most intimate area. Active concentrate for the intimate area. Maybe that needs to go in my bathroom. Um, bloat pills that will go downstairs next to my bills. Um, rose water daily cleansing gel. Cleansers, where are you? Okay, they're in here. Nope, that's eye cream. That's masks, hairs. Oh, cleansers, right over here. We have a toothpaste thing. Oh, expires august 2022 that goes into trash and then we have a face mask face mask face mask they're over here like sheet face masks and then i have some patch things for when you have a breakout i don't know about these but i'm gonna put it right there and we have a kopari coconut face cream I don't know. I'm going to put that to the side. Okay, so here are my bins. Um, I have sunscreen and uh, serums in here. I've got cleansers and uh, oils, facial oils in here. I did find, like I said, I found one face peel in like a different spot. So I wonder if I should move these to my face peel. No, I'm going to keep them in here because I think that that would be a better choice for me and i'll actually use them that way hopefully um this is a cleanser some of the stuff that's in here like the ones that say oh this is a moisturizer why is this in here that's not supposed to go in there um yeah this is a moisturizer at some point, I am going to go through some of these and um, like I know some of my friends ask for some samples, which is, you know, like I have way too many things. So the things that are made for oily skin or that are matte, I always pass these on. I do not like matte skin care. Um, for example, one of that would be like the Double Repair Matte Moisturizer. I'll probably pass this on to a friend who would need it. I don't personally need it. Um, so at some point, I will be doing that and going through what I have. Um, we were in the middle of something and I totally sidetracked. I need a piece of paper so we can write the categories that we need to print labels for, and then I'll print the labels. Okay, so starting off, we have cleanser, um, face oils, treatments, oils and treatments. Uh, we have a sunscreen. What's back there? Um, serums. We have moisturizers, hair care. We have two bins of hair care, so I need to print out two of those. We have face masks. Um, I don't know if you guys saw all of my face masks. And then we have eye creams. 
Um, we have sheet masks and Grande products all in one bin. Let me go ahead and show you my face masks because I don't think that you got to see this. The eye stuff is quite a bit, eye creams. So here are all the face masks and I guess we, let, let me print out the labels and then we'll come back. I'll place some on here and then I'll show you all the face masks I have. I have been working on some this year more than before, so I need to hurry up and do it. Okay, let's print out labels. Okay, I printed all of my labels. I kept them all on here. We're gonna go ahead and rip that out and then start placing them where they belong. So the first one I have in here is Lash Serum and Face Masks. So we're gonna go ahead and place it where it belongs. Depends on which way I'm gonna have it pointing. I'm gonna have probably the Lash Serums in front of me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Lash Serums up over here. And then right below it, I'm gonna use the Sheet Masks tag. And I will flip you around so you see what it looks like. So kind of like them right under each other. And I fit one up on top. Yeah, it's not straight. So we've got um, face masks and lash serum. It's okay, right? It's not perfect, but it's all right. Um, I have eye cream, eye cream, eye cream is a bin all by itself. So my creams are gonna go in here. I do wanna flip these around. I don't like the way they look, the products that are in there. So we're gonna put this baby down over here. I like to know what the product is. There you go. Is it close if I do this? These lids, I'm so mad about them. See, like that's the thing. The other ones that the bigger bins, the lids for them are just amazing. Why does this have to be so crappy? I don't know. This back here and this over here. So I can see them better. Are ready. These two bins are good to go. I'm gonna label the ones that are hair care because these I wouldn't reach for them as often as I would reach for some of the other ones. Well, I do, especially like the hair care, um, like the the masks and stuff like that. Those I would reach for more than the shampoos and conditioner, travel shampoo and conditioner. Um, because I prefer to travel with my shampoos and conditioners. So, but I'm gonna label these because these are gonna go, I'm gonna put them straight in the closet right now. They're gonna go below the other stuff, basically, just because they're not used as much. So I'm gonna put these away. Let's finish up the rest. Face masks. My big bin of face masks. There it is. And I will show you what's in it. Because there's a ton in there. Okay, let's put that to the side for now. So I can finish labeling. We've got moisturizers. Moisturizers are over here. Right? Nope. Moisturizers are over here. They've got their own bin. There's my moisturizers. So we're gonna have come on, stay in there, babe. Stay in there. Behave. In this one, we have serums and cleansers. Serums and cleansers. Oh, this one. Serums is in here. They're not in the same bin. So here's serums. Serums. 
goes there and then in it is the sunscreen so let's put sunscreens most of these sunscreens i really hope that i will get through while on vacation um this month i will be traveling with a bunch of these travel sunscreens they're so convenient to just stick in the bag and reapply by the pool so sunscreens and cleanser um serums and then we have this guy which has um cleansers and oils and treatments so which ones we want cleansers sticking out I'm placing all of my things crooked oh they peel so nicely though hmm. you know guiding line oh my come on Rania put it straight here we go and then oils and treatments is going to go up on top because that's the one that's going to be towards the back. Or at least that's what I've done with all of the other labels. Okay, let me put them in the closet and then I'll show you what face masks I have. that stuff in the closet let's talk about face masks i have so many you guys let me show you what do i have the first one i have pours no more by dr brand vacuum uh cleaner i've used one of these before i have a grace and stella meet mud your skin's new best friend it's a face mask um most of the ones i have are mud masks and i try not to use those too often because i don't have a oily skin i have more of a normal skin and i don't want them drying out my skin but i do have a lot of mud masks my mother-in-law actually picked up a, a set for me these are from iceland um mud masks from iceland this one is blue lagoon lava scrub mask this guy is silica mud mask LJ mask and mineral mask. These are all by Blue Lagoon Iceland. Um, I need to try them. My mother-in-law was in Iceland last year. It's been a full year. I also have um, Origins Drink Up Intensive. This is, is this an avocado one or is this, uh, what was the scent? It smells so good. I've used one of these before, the older packaging. So I have that one too. I have One One Skin Oxygen Express Mask. Uh, honestly, I don't know how to use this guy, but we should look it up. Um, you put it on, wait five minutes or until the formula has dried and then you wash it off and you apply your skincare. We need to try it. I have uh, Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. You see, everything I have left is clean, like f a clay masks. I have a Kiehl's Ginger Leaf and Hibiscus Firming Mask. This is an overnight mask, the same as the Origins is an overnight mask. I have this one. This came in a, um, a, uh, a what is it called? A An advent calendar. This is Espa Clean and Green Detox Mask. I really should use this one. Um, it looks like it's an expensive, ooh, that smells good. Oh, it smells so good. I really should use it. Um, but there we go. It's another detox mask. And then I have a Peter Thomas Roth. This is that rose stem cell mask. So that's what that is. And then, of course, I showed you that one mud mask by Peter Thomas Roth that I'm working on finishing. Let me put these back in here. And then we need to label some more stuff. I have more things to label. This goes in here. Put this one in the closet. There, there they are. Face mask, moisturizer, oils and treatments means it's in the back. Cleansers in the front, sunscreen in the back, serum in the front. Eye creams, sheet masks in the back, lash serum in the front. Hair care, hair care. Now we need labels for these. Um, this is just going to be cleansers. This will be moisturizers. And this will be serums and toners. So I'm going to label these and then we're going to label this one backups and eye care um and i think that will be it so let me go ahead and print out the labels i'll place them and then uh that will be it we'll finish up this video
Okay, everything is labeled. These are labeled. I added the labels for these. So here we have serums and toners. Of course, there's a face oil. We're going to disregard that. It's got moisturizers in it. This one's got cleansers. Over here, I have eye patches and makeup backups. We just called it makeup backups because there's lippies and Pat McGrath backups in there. These are all these makeup samples and like some knickknacks that were... I ran across like a razor um, refill and these mega bar, you know, things like that that just need a little bit more attention. This again is just always heady, handy and ready to go on travel. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me show you what my table's looking like. I need to do a little bit of cleanup. This stuff clean up the stuff that's all project bin items current when i'm not using this i will probably place it find a spot for it in the closet and when i want to do my makeup i will pull it out um so yeah i think that would be it for today and then these are kind of obvious what they are i know what they are i don't need to label them um, and these are going to go in that um, declutter bin for to be tried a different time. I hope you guys liked this. De um, this I was going to call declutter, but no, it's not. This organization video probably was all over the place. I have a lot of products and trying to make to organize in a way that would make sense for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.